Well, hello there, my fellow brothers, sisters, gamers, and anime lovers. Uh, sorry for the long week being gone. I've been very busy sorting out every archive file I have. <laughs> my computer is freaking getting full again, so I had to, uh, whatchamacallit, reallocate some resources and get those spaces back. So, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'm planning on doing the Helldivers uh, Viper Commando thingy. The war bond and check out every game. I'm gonna make a video out out of it. Um, the weapons, the armor, what's good, what's bad, what's the downside, what's an upside booster. Yeah, there's a lot of things about the war bond that it, this is the very first war bond that looks so epic compared to the other ones we got. So it's a first time for everything. And at the same time, I'll be making my first Hell Divers video, uh, uh, checking out the. The new stuff, the new content being dumped in. Hope we get more of it down the line, but still. Oh, uh, but I digress. We're back again, back to your regular scheduled programming of reacting. Yeah, since my birthday, I took at least a few times uh, off because, yeah, we were celebrating and I'm getting really tired afterwards. And, yeah, I slept a few days just to get myself back into good the good cognitive shape. <laughs> if you do not sleep at the right time, you really are lagging. So, yeah. Before, you've noticed sometimes that when I do my videos, I lag on uh, thinking. Uh, that's because, yeah, I'm being sleep deprived in so many ways and shape and form. Uh, and I just got out of the shower and noticed that my hair is just, real, just wet and just messed around a bit, but still. Do you guys prefer long hair or short hair when you see me react? But still, it's up to you. I'm just asking for your opinion on the matter. But still, I digress. This is, once again, Devil Optimus, 997k. Only three more to go for him to get one million. Come on, everyone. Get some sub to Devil Optimus. Get him up to one million so we can get his YouTube button. We get a celebratory video. All right. Perfect sell versus Joseph Joestar. Oh, no. Another Jojo. Let me... Let me guess. Cell's about to get his butt kicked. Again. Come on. The Jojo... The only one he beat it was uh, Dio. But he, he lost again to... I don't know his name was. What was the other guy's name? The other Jojo character? Yeah, he could... The bootleg Keanu Reeves. I remember that. <laughs> oh my goodness. He didn't win against that. So unfair. So you're the infamous perfect cell that I've heard so much about. All right, Joe Star. And you're that dark uh, Australian guy. Australian, I'm British. Yeah, British. I'm pretty sure you're Australian. Say what now? Go away, Jace. Let me that joke. <laughs> oh, I'm Australian. I'm British. Uh, if you don't know the history that people sent, yeah. If you do study a bit of history, I've learned this a bit. Um, Australia was in fact a place where Brit Great Britain dumps their most... Uh, I don't know if the most violent or anything else, but the, they're criminals. And then they created a society over there in Australia and became... And they have that International Sorry Day. I don't, I don't know much about the Australian history. I do respect them and I apologize if I get it wrong, but still... I do respect Australia, really. They are strong to get over their history and move forward, unlike the rest of some parts of the world that is so always turning back. Never turn back, guys, because it hinders progress in all sense of the, of the form. But at the same time, respect tradition because it is the foundation and basis of our society. And if you try to wreck tradition as it is, you forget your, who you are in the long run. Sorry about that. I got I got into a spiel because of what they're talking, what they're talking about. So basically, Australian are Brits by blood. They are descended from Brits. Ha, you think you know it all, don't you? Well, how about this? Your next line is, "Why are you erect, Jojo?" What the fuck? What? Why are you erect? Is this really necessary, Monsieur Joseph? Who's this? Holy shit! Is he French? We. What the 
hell is going on there? I just... I forget. Going into the Devil Artemis universe is like you're going on a trip. On a rare... <laughs> on a rocket ship. Alright, Perfect Cell versus Super Kermit Part 2! Okay, last time, it was just... It was Shallot versus Super Kermit, right? Because he was just asking for Kagi's or Shallot's uh, forgiveness and just basically dancing with a boom box right above him. So, Perfect Shell versus Super Kermit Part 2. Wonder what this is about. Kermit, where the hell have you been? I haven't seen you in like two days. I've been two training, days. Cell. For what? Training for two I days. I needed to ascend past Super Froggy Blue, and, and you I finally achieved my full potential. Hyperbolic time there is chamber. absolutely no way that you could achieve your full potential in two days, Kermit. Perhaps not normally, but in the hyperbolic time chamber, anything is possible. So what? Did your power level increase by? Depending by the dub or the sub or whatever we go on by reference, there are two names for that chamber that uh, dilates time. That one day over here is one year over there, so if I'm correct. Um, one, it's the hyperbolic time chamber from the English dub. And I think in the subs, it's the room of spirit and time. So basically, yeah. We have our different interpretations of stuff, and yeah, it basically is. That's what you get from a lore nut like me, because yeah, I got Dragon Ball Z lore nuts. Because there's a lot to keep track, and you're gonna go nuts for it. By like 10? You're gonna eat those words. <laughs> Power level, oh, Martin. am I now? I highly doubt You're gonna get I gold hair. Ah! Holy shit! Your power! It's perfect! <laughs> buff Kermit. Never have I ever seen a buff Kermit like this. This should be a meme. Now, whenever Kermit's angry or pissed, he just basically, Master Roshi, bulk up. That's where he got that power from. <laughs> you just did Master Roshi's, uh, roid form. <laughs> or Super Saiyan Blade 3. This isn't even my final form! I can go one step further if I wanted to. Alright, Frieza. <laughs> By powering this up? This is it, Cell. The moment that we've all been Ew, waiting for. Ew, that's gross you looking. You and me are going to settle it. Kagi can only have one best friend. Kagi. And we're going to find out who. <laughs> only one best friend. Okay. <laughs> so basically, Kermit is fighting for Kagi's friendship. It's really hot today. Forgive me for that. <clears throat> all right. This is... Uh, Perfect Cell versus All for One, episode four. All right, all right, here we go again. What devastating, diabolical, evil plan do you have in store for us today, uh, All for One? Oh, and I receive a comment that yes, I reacted to the entire Perfect Cell vs. All for One saga, but that was kind of one year ago, so I barely remember much of it. And I've been reacting to countless things that are fun, enjoyable, and just brain rotting in so many ways that yeah, I I can't keep everything in my head. The funny thing about uh, photographic memory, there is a selective part that my mind just focus on and just remembers and I I thank it for being a blessing from time to time and I curse it to all to heck for how cur cursed images just stick to my brain because of certain things so yeah from photographic selective memory they should add a variant <laughs> okay something's wrong Kermit so we meet again, Perfect Cell. All for one, you persistent bastard! He is. I have returned, and this time I am sure that my evil plans will go through without fail. Do I have to beat the shit out of you again? That will not be necessary. <laughs> You'll be far too busy crying before you can even lift Hold the- Hold the frick on! What? <laughs> yeah, 
Shaggy's gonna be pissed again. <laughs> what is with you in sh shipping on Shaggy cereal? <laughs> That's Shallot in the background. You can see Shallot over there floating in the river. <laughs> All right, who massacred him this time? I think. What have you done this time, all for one? This time, Perfect Cell, I have thought of an even more devastating, unforgivable plan. I, all for one, will set off everyone's alarm clock five minutes early. And every time that you go to snooze it, it gets louder. Well, you lose right there towards me, all for one. I never set an alarm because I never wake up on time. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding i wake up at certain times like because of the heat over here in my country i wake up a specific time and it's early because yeah my body cannot just tolerate the the heat while i'm sleeping in my bed so either i have the aircon open for the entire day or i'm waking up when it's off so yeah i don't need an alarm clock my alarm clock is the temperature good luck with that sir Oh, your next diabolical evil plan is messing with the thermostat. Let me guess. You sick bastard! I won't let you get away with it all for one. We can just shut off our mobile devices and shatter your evil plan. Not True. before I shatter your heart, Kermit. You see, this conversation is just a distraction, while my real evil plan is taking place as we speak. Oh. Uh, no. What have you done?! I, O for One, have cancelled MCU Spider-Man's contract with Marvel. No! This is four years ago. This might be old news, but I do know that MCU Spider-Man is still going on. We got Spider-Man No Way Home, or maybe that's the last contract. And yeah, with Marvel today, I'd rather not have another movie made by them especially when they're owned by disney if they're a standalone studio once again marvel by themselves without uh corporate disney breathing down their necks maybe i could accept it but with current media today yeah it's nothing but man hating and women hating things basically sadly that's the truth and if you denounce that you need to check again believe me i've seen some hate and I've never seen hate like that before. Believe me, Port aimed at us, the fans. But you're no fans because we know who the fans are. Pfft. Those who kiss your feet are what you might call it. I'm not gonna say the word here because, yeah, I might get a threat. <laughs> at the same time, yeah, they're so sensitive, it's just so funny. You have no idea what you've just done! I you mean, did I the world a service, you know, I essence, might even if... pour myself a bowl of milk and cereal oh. as a reward. That's oh, that sounds pretty good. Cocoa Crunch In for me. that order. Nah! Who the hell pours milk before the cereal? Nah! In truth, I agree with Kermit. I put my cere cereal first, then the milk. <laughs> and then there comes the joke. I put my bowl last. Why you cereal unaliver? I can't say the word because YouTube. Forgive me, but you get the joke. All right, next ep episode is Perfect Cell vs. Super Kermit Episode 3. Let's go. Yeah. You don't stand a chance, Cell. My power is unrivaled. You won't be able to defeat me, even with your transformations. God damn it. He's right. My power stands no chance against his godly six you pack and his beloved to his cheeks. He's so goddamn sexy. What do I even do? Don't give up, Cell. <laughs> Shall it? You can't let Kermit win this fight because you have something that he. Hold on, they're fighting for your friendship and you're picking a side, Shallot, Kagi? What do you mean? Does it? Herpes? What? Ill? no, you have me. Yeah, that's pretty gay. Put this on, Cell. What the hell is that? Fusion. It's a Patara earring. 
Wearing one will create a fusion of unstoppable power. Fusion? So you pick Wait, Cell over Kermit, Shala? Yeah. Yep, super gay. Just put on the damn. Don't earring. make it weird. Just do it. Go! <laughs> oh no! That's it! Come on. Oh, I can't get to see the finale because, yeah, I'm doing only f five or six. Depending on the thumbnails, I can squeeze into the monitor, which is only five. So, yeah. So, next video is Perfect Cell vs. Super Broly Episode 3. Tres. Let's go. Okay, I've listened to both your issues, but unfortunately, we can still only have one Broly. You pick the super one. Pick the super one. The original one, yeah, he sucks. And if you want to know why, the reason why he became the Super Sa the legendary Super Saiyan 1, because it's in his blood, that's okay. But, number two, the problem is... The reason he hates a certain character named Kakarot because they were right next to each other in a nursery and Kakarot was basically crying and crying, tormenting the poor baby. We do know we don't know what goes on the baby's mind, but living with that, someone screaming right next to you, it is gonna be tormenting. Especially for us. <laughs> but still, it's so ridiculous the reason for him to hate Kakarot. He cried. He was a crying baby. I'm mad at a crying baby. He ruined my life as a baby because he cried nonstop. The other one, on the other hand, he doesn't have a motive. He was trained by his father, Paragus, the dumbass, into hating Vegeta or Vegeta Jr. Because we know that Vegeta Sr. got rid of him as a baby. And I doubt that Broly would even care that he was sent to that planet, Vampa, by Vegeta Sr. because he found his friend. And so annoying that, yeah, poor guy, poor Broly, that he was basically turned into a, I can't say the word, you know what, by his father to hate Vegeta. And that makes more sense. Although he had an affinity of friendship to Goku because Goku wanted to be his friend. I doubt that Vegeta would also, but who, who's to know? But still, I digress. This is... Let's keep on going. Pick Super Broly! Pick Super Broly! He has more character development and more sense than the other one because, yeah. Then I suggest a contest. What kind of contest? Broly declares a twerk off. What? Broly does not twerk! Of all the That's contests! Genius. We'll have a contest and the winner can be the new canon Broly! That's preposterous! That's stupid! Well, then I guess you don't want to be canon. Behold. The legendary super twerk. Oh, Say no. no more. Hit it, Bulma! Thank you! Thank you! That was just wrong! That was wrong to what the frick <laughs> I'm going on a trip. <laughs> Why? Why would you make Broly do that? For goodness sake. Alright, this one might be more... Will keep my sanity a bit. Perfect Silver Spankers of Madagascar. I need something to clean that out of my head. I hate that. Remember, cute and cuddly, boys. Is this cute and cuddly. Are these audio Skipper, clips? this doesn't look like Antarctica. Yes, thank you for the inside, Private, but that's not your job. Kowalski, analysis. We seem to be in the arena of the evil bugman, sir. Well, I'll be damned. It's time to save the world, boys. Private, now's bugman. your chance to prove yourself. I want you to go over to the bugman and snap his neck. All right. Uh, I think this is either Artemis voicing them all or audio clips. But if it is Artemis voicing them all, I am... Go flat, go flat, go flat. Damn, Artemis. You got some some good vocal cords on you, boy. 
Are you sure that's a good idea, Skipper? Come on, what could go wrong? You know, I'm standing yep. right here. Mm. Ah, shit. Kowalski, analysis. We're f***ed, sir. God damn it. It is him. Because I know they're not saying those words on a kid. Kenguins in Madagascar is a kid's show. No way in hell they're speaking that. So basically, wow, Artemis. Wow. And I don't see featuring anyone, so he got to be the voice actor for this. But still, I digress. Good job, Artemis. That was epic and clean. Never heard that before. But still, hope you guys enjoy this. More videos like this will be on its way to the channel. Don't worry, more will be on its way. Yeah, it's after a long break. Until then, let's see you in the next one. Be there or be square.